Hello and thank you for giving me the opportunity to present this work and the title it comparing three arrangements of permanent magnets by finite element software. This work is realized by myself, Asasi Wissal, Mr. Saeed Gdira, Mrs. Samira Shibli and Mrs. Sumaya Ilhani. Before starting, I would like to thank especially the member of the jury, the organizing community and all the people present. This presentation is made up of four parts, introduction, methodologies, results and discussion, conclusion. Introduction. Currently, there are three types of levitation systems, electromagnetic suspension system, electrodynamic suspension systems, and permanent magnet suspension system. Electromagnetic suspension is unstable and requires powerful levitation control system. Electrodynamic suspension system cannot provide a suspension force in the static states. But permanent magnet suspension system has simple structure, lightweight, no energy consumption, high reliability, large bearing capacity. In this context, we compare the magnetic characteristics of three types of permanent magnets in order to choose the combination that provides the best stability and load capacity. Then we study the behavior of this arrangement based on the finite element methods while optimizing the data storage space and simulation time. Finally, we are interested in the cost optimization of the magnetic levitation system composed of the NDFEB permanent magnets, which are high cost rare earth elements. Methodologies Our study is based on the comparison of three permanent magnets arrangements. PMG1, normal PMG with a thickness of 10 mm iron block in the middle. PMG A2, normal PMG without iron block. PMGB, PMG of Halbach. The Halbach arrangement is a particular combination of permanent magnets that increases the magnetic file on one side and removes almost all the magnetic files on the opposite side. We use the finite elements method on console multiphysics software to compare the three arrangements. This method consists of discretizing the study domain into subdomains and extracting the equations of each element. These equations are collected to form the global finite elements equation and conclude the solution of the physical problem. We use the Maxwell equation of the mesh elements to conclude the behavior of the global system. Results and discussion. We choose the optimal mesh in console multiphysics, which guarantees compromise between the calculation time, the data storage space, and accuracy of the study. To achieve this goal, we compare two types of machines, extremely thin mesh and adapted mesh, which is done by reducing the mesh size in the areas of interest and not globally. The table shows that the adapted mesh is more efficient than the extremely thin mesh. The computation time is optimized by one second for all permanent magnet arrangements. The data storage space for the extremely thin mesh is 29. 0.72%, 26.21%, and 19.2% larger than for the adapted mesh in PMG A1, PMG A2, and PMG B, respectively. The adapted mesh method concentrates the smallest elements on the areas of interest. It allows of reducing the competition time and the data storage space. This mesh has levels. The more we increase the level, the more the study approach the real results, but by increasing the levels, the computation time and storage space increase. In the following, we use the third level of the adapted mesh since it gives the results very close to those of the levels that follow it. With reduced computation time and storage space, we use this method to solve the partial derivative equation determined previously. We can see that from different height, the peaks of PMG A1 are situated within more or less 0.009 meter from the center, and the peaks of PMG A2 are located within more or less 0.019 meter from the center. We conclude that the iron block concentrates the magnetic flow in the center of the magnetic array. 
can conclude also that the vertical magnetic field density of PMG A1 is larger than the one of the PMG A2 and the vertical magnetic field density of PMG B is larger than the one of the PMG A1. We can see also that the magnetic angle of the PMG B is larger than the one of the PMG A1, which is larger than the one of the PMG A2 at different heights. We conclude that the higher the vertical magnetic induction, the higher the induced current, the higher the levitation force and load capacity. We conclude also that the greater the magnetization angle, the greater the vertical stability. So, the Halbach array has better load capacity and better vertical stability than the other rails. The combination of the Halbach arrangement as a magnetic source and the high temperature superconductor as levitating elements guarantees a high levitation force of the train at very high speeds. It solves the problem of speed limitation due to the friction between the train wheels and the rail by guaranteeing a very high load capacity. However, the realization of large bulks and their cooling represents a great challenge in the railway industry. The Halbach PMG is composed of the NDFEP permanent magnets, which are high cost rare earth elements, hence, the need to decrease the dependence of the Halbach array on rare parts. To achieve this goal, we realize a cost optimization application on console multiphysics based on the dimensional parameters and the remanence magnet flux. This application also allows visualizing the system's geometry, its mesh, the magnetic flux density at different heights, and the levitation force according to the adapted mesh levels. The primary purpose of this application is to decrease the cost of the system according to the demand, namely the magnetic flux density and levitation force. During this communication, we compare the magnetic characteristics of three permanent magnet combinations based on definite elements method and we realize cost calculation application of the magnetic levitation system. First of all, we choose the adapted mesh on console multiphysics to minimize the calculation time and the data storage. Then, we compare the magnetic characteristics of the three permanent magnet combinations. It seems that the Halbach array has a better loading capacity and a better vertical stability. Finally, we realize the total system cost calculation application on console multiphysics and we support it with a guide for the optimization of the permanent magnet siding based on SUNY holding criteria. Thank you for your attention.